covering St. Johns County tonight, troopers continue to investigate two separate cases where people were hit and killed on busy roads within just hours of each other. 34-year-old Robert James Taylor was killed while walking across US-1 near Arapahoe Avenue around 545 last night. A second person whose name has not been released was hit while riding a bicycle on County Road 208 around 1130. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder is live in St. Johns County. Nicole, you talked to a local activist working to prevent deaths like these. Yeah, she says it's a struggle to get people to slow down and for everyone on the road to pay attention. And right now is the time to proceed with even more caution because there's going to be a lot of people on the road in the next couple of days and during this holiday season. It's a common sight in St. John's County. Traffic zooming by people riding their bikes or walking around town. But unfortunately, too many times these people are hit and killed by drivers. It's just, you know, we really all have to pay more attention. Um, you know, there. We can talk about details and fault, but that's not going to do us any good. Heather Novell is constantly working on ways to make the road safer for all through her nonprofit Vela Fest Community Initiative. She advocates for more legislation and education to prevent crashes. It, it just comes down to we need to treat each other like human beings on the road. I can I can get as much bike side trail and sidewalk as I as I can get funded, um, but if if we don't all use it correctly and we're not paying attention, then it doesn't really do anybody any good. This is the road that 34 year old Robert Taylor was trying to cross last night when he was hit. And even though there are some bike lanes to protect people, Navelle says there needs to be more protection for those who are crossing the street. Navelle's organization teams up with county and state leaders to look for more ways to accommodate people on different modes of transportation. We're, we have a really great seat at the table with the Department of Transportation and our county uh, working on US-1 resurfacing, 312 resurfacing, trying to ensure that whatever, wherever we can find separated infrastructure, wherever we can put it, wherever we have funding for, that we do that. And both of those crashes are still being investigated. We don't know the identity of the person that was killed on that bike late last night. But at 6, I'll have the latest numbers on how many people have been killed and injured this year in St. John's County in these types of crashes. I'm live in St. Augustine, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.